हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ द चैप्टर टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस इट इज सर्टेन दैट इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स ऑफ मैथ्स एंड इट इंक्लूड्स वेरियस फंडामेंटल एंड लॉजिकल कॉन्सेप्ट विच नीड टू बी अंडरस्टर्ड बिफोर वी एक्चुअली ट्राई सॉल्विंग डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन विच आर फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ड इन डिफरेंट कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स सो इन दिस फर्स्ट वीडियो वील बी डिस्कसिंग कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मोशन concept of constancy and conversion of unit so let's start with the first concept which is concept of motion friends when a body let's say a wheel like this one is at a point a and it moves to another point b at a distance of d then it requires some time t to cover this distance d with a particular speed let's say s the relation among s t and d or speed time and distance will always be speed into time is equal to distance or in abbreviated form we can call it s into t is equal to d friends in this whole chapter of time and distance this relationship is the most important one and you must be able to recall it in most of the cases now we have this relationship that says speed into time is equal to distance therefore when distance is constant here constant means something that never changes let's assume the distance to be one unit so time taken will be 1 upon s or we can say time is inversely proportional to speed which further means the more the speed the less the time or vice versa by now we have understood the fact that if the speed of an object increases the time taken by this object to cover a certain distance will decrease or vice versa but the question arises here in what proportion let's understand it with the help of the concept of constancy to understand the concept of constancy let's take a scenario first in this scenario an object moving at a certain speed covers a certain distance in certain time if the speed increases by 50% by what percent the time taken to cover the same distance will decrease here we have two variables speed and time and in this particular scenario speed is increasing by 50% and we are required to find the proportional decrease in time to find it we have a very simple method let's first convert the given percentage value in fraction so 50% can be written as 1 by 2 now as we are to find the proportional decrease in time what we need to do here is to take the numerator part of the fraction and add it to the denominator part of the same fraction the hint to remember this is the fact that we are moving from increase in one variable to decrease in the other and by adding the numerator part to the denominator part we are actually getting a decreased value so the fraction we get here is 1 by 3 which in percentage will be 33.33%. Let's take the opposite scenario here. Let's say the speed of this object decreases by 20% and now we are required to find the proportional increase in time to cover the same distance. Let's once again note down the fractional value of the given percentage which will be 1 by 5. In this scenario we are to move from decrease in one variable to increase in the other and how shall we find that take the numerator part of this fraction and subtract it from the denominator part of the same fraction and we get 1 by 4 which in percentage is equal to 25% so friends you learned a very important concept here we request you to think of different scenarios and to find the proportional changes in the other variable believe you me this exercise 
is of utmost importance as with the help of it we are going to solve a lot of seemingly difficult questions of time and distance in coming times let's now move to the next concept which is conversion of units friends do remember the fact that to solve any of the problems all the units involved in the calculation must be uniform here we are going to discuss the most used units of speed and we'll understand how to convert them among one another the first one is kilometer per hour and we are to convert it in meter per second here we have assumed the speed to be s kilometer per hour and we are to convert it in meter per second we know that in 1 kilometer there are 1000 meters and in 1 hour there are 3600 seconds but we are not going to use these values in our questions we just need to take the simplest form of this fraction which is 5 by 18 and we need to multiply it into the given speed to find the speed in meter per second and while converting a speed given in meter per second into kilometer per hour we'll take inverse of the fraction which will be 18 by 5 and we'll multiply it into the given speed another popular unit conversion is kilometer per hour into meter per minute and vice versa now once again we can observe that in 1 km there are 1000 meters and in 1 hour there are 60 minutes but once again we are not going to take these values and instead of it we'll take its simplest form which is 50 by 3 and inverse of it while converting meter per minute into kilometer per hour so friends this is it in the next video we'll take a few very important shortcuts to solve basic time and distance problems till then keep learning and have a great time